Well everyone, this is Monsters of Folklore, and I got a question for you. Have you ever been in a lake or a river and came face to face with a snapping turtle? You may have, but how about a gigantic snapping turtle that weighs over 500 pounds or more? This is the Beast of Busco, also known as Oscar. Now, it's the subject of a legend in Tro Busco, Indiana, about an enormous snapping turtle which citizens claim to have seen in 1949. Despite a month-long hunt that briefly gained national attention, the Beast of Busco was never found. Now, the Beast of Busco, or also known as Oscar from its first discovery, resides in Tro Busco, Indiana, where it is supposedly a giant snapping turtle. Legend has it that the story starts in 1898. Now you think about it, it's 1898. It's now 2023. When a farmer named Oscar Folk supposedly saw a giant turtle living in the seven acre lake on his farm near Churubusco, he told others about it, but he eventually decided to leave it alone. Now, the thing is with this story here at Giant Snapping Turtles, to me it's not really uncommon because the alligator snapping turtles can get very large. But let's continue the story. The Churubusco farmland containing Folk Lake from which the Beast of Busco was reported was originally owned by Oscar Folk when the Beast of Busco made the news in 1948. Now, people who knew Folk said that he had, you know, been telling stories of a giant turtle 50 years before and around 1898. Now, after Folk sold his land, the new owners are said to have reported seeing the turtle in 1914. A local named Pat Crooks was also told about a huge turtle in Folk Lake years before the 1949 hunt. Giant turtles in the area may also figure in local Armenian mythology. Now, Gail Harris perched the land on the 14th of November, 1947, moving in with his wife Helen and son Vaughn. And one of the first things he learned was that a giant turtle allegedly lived in the lake. Now, a half century later, in July of 1948, two people, Aura Blue and Charlie Wilson, also reported seeing a huge alligator snapping turtle weighing an estimate 500 pounds or more, while fishing on the same lake which had come to be known as Folk Lake. Now a farmer named Gail Harris owned the land at the time. Harris and others reported seeing this creature, word spread, and many expeditions were held to try and get the beast of Busco out of the lake. Some of the methods included draining the water and motorboating the lake. Now I'm not really sure what motorboating would really do about anything, because if you think about it, it's a turtle, so it'd probably lay on the ground, you know, at the bottom of the lake, who knows. Now, not much else is known about the Beast of Busco. Some say it's just hibernating and waiting for food to come to it. Some say the beast never existed and it was only Oscar's way of making the sleepy town feel alive. Now, I can believe that, you know, you're back in the 40s, you're trying to get the town bumping or somewhat like that, and you start making up crazy stories and you start bringing in people who were genuinely curious to find a gigantic snapping turtle in the 40s. Now some believe that Oscar could theoretically still be alive, as alligator snapping turtles can have extremely long lifespans. No sightings of giant turtles in Folk Lake were reported after 1949, and Harris himself believed that Oscar had migrated into a different lake, you know, via a subterranean river. Now a theory suggested to him by guys from zoos Alternatively, the turtle may have survived within f Lake Folk by burying itself in the mud at the bottom and going into stasis. Now, an event, though, which turtle collector Rust Reed finds unlikely but possible. Now, Reed believes that the beast of Busco most likely died in suffocation after burying itself to avoid the draining. Subsequent owners of the land have refused to allow the lake to be searched now. Now, in celebration of Oscar, a Turtle Days festival is held in Churubusco each June, featuring a parade, a carnival, and turtle races. Now, the Churubusco City Central also featured a statue of a turtle. And it's pretty interesting if you think about it, a lot of the small towns have their own cryptids, which they have parades, you know, carnival statues, crazy things like that. But, you know, as a tourist attraction, just like, you know, the Mothman at Point Pleasant, you know, that has stores about the Mothman, statues, all kinds of things. But then you have other different places, other, other states have their own stuff. It's pretty unique. It's pretty interesting. Do you believe in the Beast of Busco? 
I really don't know about this one. I mean, it could just be an alligator snapping turtle at the time. It's really hard to tell, and it probably could have moved on, been caught, died. It's really hard to tell. But have you heard of the Beast of Busco? If you have, let me know down below. As always, subscribe, comment, like the video, and I'll catch you later.